In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete or isolate a part of an image that you might want to delete or um, duplicate to add more. So here I have um, a fish with a little bug. So let me duplicate this so I can show you a couple of different things. If I, um, and you want to make sure you're working with paths, okay? You can check down on your information bar to find out. Um, so I'll take a circle and I'll draw it over top of that bug. I'll turn it into a path, hold my shift key, select them both, and then do a path difference. And that got rid of that bug, okay? But let's say I didn't want to delete it. I just wanted to move it. Um, so to isolate that bug, I would go to my Bezier pen and draw a shape around the bug. Connect it back where I started from. Turn that into a, a path by going to path, stroke to path. And then selecting it, hold the shift key, select them both, and go to path division. And then I can move that bug around. Okay. Um, but when you do division, as you can see, it gave me all these pieces, not just the bug. Okay. So. Once you get everything where you want it, then you're going to want to select it all and do a path union so that it's one again. Okay. Same thing with this. Uh, I can draw a circle. I can position it how I want it. Turn it into a path. Select them both and do path vision or difference. And it gets rid of part of that. Or I can use my um, Bezier pen and I can draw, oops, that was calligraphy, sorry about that. I can draw a shape around what I want deleted and connect it back where I started from, turn that into a path by going stroke to path, and then selecting them both and doing path division and what that does is it cut it out okay but when i turn a stroke into a path let me just go ahead and um make a stroke here and let me go to view display mode outline okay here's all my paths but this only has one line because it's just um, a stroke, it's not a path. So if I select that, watch what happens when I do path. Well, let me move this over so you can see. When I do path, stroke to path, see it gave me two sides. So your cutter will cut up one side and down the other, all right? Um, so when you use division, well, let me go back to display mode normal. Uh, what happens is it cuts on this side and then it cuts on this side. So uh, you want to select those little bits and get rid of them. Otherwise, they're going to cut. Okay. Um, so that's how you can get rid of pieces or isolate pieces. Um, and Yesterday, I believe it was, someone wanted to know how to put a name inside of a shape, and that's how I showed them how to do it. Um, so I'll just show you guys right quick. Well, it might not be right quick, but <laughs> I'll show you how I did it. If I can get the names situated where I want it. Okay, that's, well, I want it turned more. There we go. 
Okay, so both of these need to be paths. And once I get it where I want it, I'm going to select them both and go to Path Union. And then I'm going to go to my Node Editor. I'm going to zoom way in here on the name. And I'm going to actually just delete that. And fix that curve back. Maybe actually even delete that one so it's smoother. Um, and I have in my node editing tool to have these um, these handles. I have this highlighted right here, show Bezier handles of selected nodes. And I'll zoom way in. I'll probably delete this one and delete this one and then maneuver the handles till I get a smoother look. And then I'll pull this one back out. Something like that, close enough, right? Okay, and then this is all one. It will cut just like that. And I wanted to put these little hearts in here, but they're separate, so I need to union them together, position them where I want, and then I'm going to duplicate them, and I'm going to add an outset by holding control and pressing the number zero on the keyboard. Um, and then I'm going to hold my shift key and select my infinity ring and go to path difference and what that did was it cut out a space in between the infinity ring and my hearts okay um so that's how you do that if you have any questions leave them in the comments thanks for watching and join me in my next video